Hi there and welcome to this quick tutorial on the new colour match interface within Premiere Pro. Uh, this is part of the latest updates of CC 2018 and it's, uh, it's a really useful tool uh, that adds extra functionality to the Lumetri panel. What it essentially does is allow you to colour match shots quickly using Adobe's uh, sort of artificial intelligence algorithm. So we're going to have a quick look at it. So I've got some shots lined up here and you can see that we have this is very short sequence. It's three shots. Uh, it's of Los Angeles skyline and we go from a sort of medium shot into a close up and then a further close up and of the skyline. And you can see that by just looking through these shots, we haven't got a match in terms of the color temperature and the look of the shot that's going on here so these two are quite warm but the middle shot here is reasonably cool in color temperature so we're going to use the new color match tool so if I go into the uh, color workspace and then the Lumetri panel and they put it in the color wheels and it's called color wheels and match now so you click on that and then select a clip and if we go ahead and click comparison view. So once we have the comparison view open, you can see here on the left, we have this as a reference shot and there's a little slider underneath. So you can move this around anywhere within your timeline and select whatever you want your reference shot to be. And then the shot on the right is wherever the playhead is within the timeline. And then all it is is literally a matter of clicking a button that says apply now and you can see there what Adobe does is it analyzes this shot and then it applies a grade to the second shot matching up with the color wheels um, to what it thinks is an appropriate match and actually eyeballing that off the bat that's pretty good um, I'd say potentially maybe it needs a little bit of a tweak in the highlights and just adding a little bit of extra warmth to it so I can manually go and do that myself but in terms of a, a, a real quick to get you there in the right ballpark, it uh, does a great job. And what the new update does as well is it gives you a host of new features here in the program monitor. So you can see that we can change the split so we can compare the bow shots and we have the slider here which we can move ourselves just to get an eyeball. We can do that horizontally. We can do that vertically if we want. Actually, the vertical one is quite useful here because obviously we've got similarities within the uh, vertical plane of the shot. What you can do is click this icon as well. And this is really handy for grading individual clips. What this does is this will give you a before and after look. So if we then go and apply a further grade to our shot, so let's say we warm it up even more. Uh, let's really kind of increase the contrast by dropping the blacks down bringing the sky up and what we have there is that before and after so we can see as we grade what our, our shot before and after look like uh, in one view without having to toggle effects on and off and once again we can go and do the comparison view drag the slider over and it works really well so let's just go ahead and look at one other example. And this is one with actually a human within the shot. And what Adobe have done with this color match is optimized it for skin tones. So it works on, on face detection. So you can see here we have two shots. Uh, we have a slightly wider shot here, a mid shot, and then a close up. And you can see that because this was shot outdoors in natural light, that the position of the sun has changed. The subject now is in shadow and the background is also in shadow. So it's a slightly darker shot. So if we go ahead and hit the apply match on this. And there we can see that the effect has been applied. It's brightened up this shot. Um, if we, Once again, if we go into the split view, we can see the two shots and actually that's a pretty close match there so if i i wanted to maybe just kind of nitpicking is that this shot here just needs a little bit we just brighten it up ever so slightly more and maybe just bring the black down for a bit of added contrast as well 
and there between those two we've got a real good match in shot so if we have a look at the before and afterwards with a click of a couple of buttons we've got a near identical shot match and this is really good for grading projects quickly especially in shots like this where you're filming in uncontrolled lighting conditions and you want shots to match uh, it's really good to see adobe have put this in to the latest edition of cc 2018 hopefully this has been useful if you've got any questions or comments please do drop them in the comments below if you'd like to continue to support this channel, I do have a Patreon page and the link is in the description below and your support is greatly appreciated. And thanks very much for watching. I will see you next time.